Hi everyone, welcome to another exciting edition of PowerPoints on YouTube. I still miss all of you. I can't wait until the day we can all be back together. In the meantime, here is what we've got going on this week. In this video, I just want to do a quick check-in with where we're all at. I'm going to talk a little bit more about office hours and why you should stop by. I'm going to review this week's assignment and talk a little bit more about college enrollment deadlines. And then I'm going to give a more um, robust overview of what I mean when I'm talking about confirming your college enrollment. First of all, we're on like, I've totally lost track of the days that we've been doing this like school from home thing. I don't really know what's going on anymore. Um, and I'm sure I'm not alone in going a little quarantine crazy. And I just want all of you to know that any frustration you're feeling, any lack of motivation, feeling sad about like events that have been canceled, those are all completely normal reactions to a situation that is absolutely insane. But one thing I want you all to remember is that ultimately this is temporary. Even if it feels like we've been stuck in this weird world forever, eventually we are going to move beyond it. So we can't get too stuck on our frustrated, sad, unmotivated feelings because we still have a life beyond this. And for all of you, that life is going to college. And so there's still deadlines to take care of. There's still tasks to complete because you all have worked so hard to get to this point. You've earned it and let's move forward and get it. All right, couple of reminders. So I have office hours every Thursday from three to four on Zoom. That Zoom link is posted on our Google Classroom page every Thursday morning. And I um, can also start emailing it to you all again if that's a little bit easier for you. Zoom works either on your phone or on your computer and it's awesome because you can share your computer screen. So if there's a, um, if there's like an email you want me to see, if there's a form online that you want me to, you want help filling out, office hours are gonna be a great time to do that because I'll actually be able to see your computer screen and say like, oh yeah, click this, type this in, which I'm currently really not able to do. And I'm reminding you about office hours because this was office hours this Thursday. The only person who came was my dog, which is great, it's cute, but it's really lonely to sit by myself in a room staring at my own face on a screen for an hour. It's not great. So stop by the Zoom office hours this week. Maybe my dog will make another appearance. Um, so I'm not just sitting there by myself. All right, let's talk about what's going on this week. So right now we are about 10 days away from May 1st. Some colleges have changed their deadlines to June 1st, but there's actually a lot out there that are still holding to that May 1st deadline. If you don't make a decision or ask for an extension, you will lose your spot. That's just like a hard deadline. If you have a college you are thinking about and you don't tell them what your plans are by May 1st, it's over. Um, so for the next two weeks, we are going to be working really, really hard to get ourselves set up so that we are ready to make a decision by May 1st if we need to. The only required assignment for this week in that spirit is to complete a short Google survey about your college decision. Um, everyone should do this survey regardless of whether or not you've only already made a decision. The one exception is if you have already confirmed your enrollment by getting your enrollment deposit taken care of. So if you've gotten your enrollment deposit taken care of, you don't have to do it. Every other person, I should see a completed Google survey from you. So again, your only required assignment is that Google survey, but there are still other things to do. So just like um, SCS before distance learning, where there was a lot of tasks that were required for class, there was also a lot of things that you all did on your own because colleges were asking you to do them. And just like um, SCS before distance learning, um, when there was a benchmark 
and you couldn't do all of the benchmark tasks in a one hour class period, you needed a month to work on them. We now have this enrollment checklist and um, the enrollment checklist is like a benchmark. It's a bunch of little tasks that you need to complete by May 29th. The first part of your enrollment checklist is actually due on May 1st, unless you've worked out a different timeline with me. Um, two of the items that are due on May 1st, you've already done, or you should have already done. That's the financial planning document that was due two weeks ago, and the virtual tour, which was your assignment last week. So if you've stayed on top of your SCS assignments, you're good to go. The housing application and confirming or and or confirming that you're living at home is also required by May 1st. You need to send me a screenshot showing that you can access the student account for your college. And then you can also set your attending school on Naviance. There's more directions about my expectations for all of those things in the actual enrollment checklist and you can reach out if you've got questions about them. The one thing that I wanna focus on today and the most important thing to take care of is confirming your enrollment. So let's talk a little bit more about what I mean when I say that. First of all, what does it mean? You're telling the college that you're going there. You can't just expect to show up in August or September and, and be good to go. You need to let the college know like that you are intending to go there in the fall. So colleges usually ask you to confirm your enrollment with an enrollment deposit. And they do this because as we've talked about in class, colleges know that only about 30% 30% of the students they accept are actually going to enroll in college and go there in the fall. So what they want to do is like kind of have a little more incentive from you so that you don't end up telling five different colleges that you're going there and then, you know, backing out on four of them in July. So colleges ask for an enrollment deposit to basically to like give you a little, a little more incentive on your end. Most enrollment deposits are going to be between $200 and $500. And you have three options for taking care of this enrollment deposit. Your first option, if you and your family are able to, is to pay it. Like, if you're able to pay it and it's not going to put a financial strain on you or your family, that's usually going to be the quickest and easiest way to confirm your enrollment. If that fee is going to be a financial strain for your family, you can email your college and get um, and see if they're, they'll do one of these other options. So what you're going to want to do is email them and ask if they can waive or defer the fee. Waiving the fee just means it magically disappears, it's gone, you don't have to worry about it. Deferring it means that it is pushed back onto your fall bill. And there's an advantage to that because when you, number one, it gives you more time to raise the money to pay the fee. But also, since it's on your fall bill, you're also going to have access to your financial aid by that time to help you pay it. Every college is going to have their own individual policy about how they handle deposits. So before you send this email, I would really recommend getting in touch with me either by phone call or email or text so we can talk a little bit about what your specific college does. This week, there is also an example email to ask that you can use um, to ask about waiving and deferring fees in Google Classroom. So there's a document that says April 20th, weekly expectations. At the bottom of that document, there is an example email you can use to ask about the possibility of waiving or deferring these fees. All right, a couple of reminders before you confirm your enrollment, before you reach out to a college and ask whether or not they can waive or defer a fee, make sure you talk to me. Um, I can answer any questions you have. If this process is still confusing or seems unclear, please reach out to me and we can schedule a time um, to have a phone call or to talk over Zoom. Um, if like your schedule's crazy right now because you're working, you can also, we can just communicate over text, but do make sure you are talking to me about what you're thinking about for your college decision. I am here to help. After you get your enrollment deposit taken care of, whether that's by waiving it, deferring it, or paying it, 
send me a screenshot um, that shows the screen where it says like, congratulations, you confirmed your enrollment or forward me an email showing me that your enrollment has been confirmed. All right, folks, that is all I have got for this week. Please reach out with any questions that you may have. Reminder that office hours um, are Thursday from three to four over Zoom. Let me know how I can help you and how I can support you. I've got a lot of phone calls scheduled this week, so I will be talking to a lot of you, um, but I've also left a lot of open time in my schedule so that I can talk to students um, like as things come up. Happy enrolling in college, happy contacting colleges, happy like making this big decision. I'm so proud of all of you and I am so excited to see what comes next. Have a good week, everybody.